Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add back in stock notification to your WooCommerce shop. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so first of all, let's visit one of our sold out products and we can see right now that the product is out of stock and that's it pretty much. Our customer will leave the store and may even go to buy the same product from our competitors. So this is not good. We would like to allow our customers to leave their email address so we can market them later and notify them when the product is back in stock. So let's add this feature. We will need to use a plugin called Back in Stock Notification by WooCommerce. You can get it from the official website for $49 or the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. Again, it's the exact same plugin. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, you can install the back in stock notification straight from your WordPress website. Simply go to plugins for WP, search for it and click on install and then on activate. Once you activated the plugin, we can access its dashboard or the settings page by going to WooCommerce, settings and then into the stock notifications tab. There are a few settings that we can change, however the plugin will work just by activating it out of the box pretty good. There is not much to change, I will go to some of them later. But for now let's refresh one of the sold out products and here we have the button. However because I am logged in, we will need to access it from an incognito window to see what the form looks like. So here we can see the sold out item and I can enter my email address over here. And once I click on notify me, I will get this message that the email address was submitted successfully. Now I can go to my email inbox and I will receive an email from them shortly after notifying me that I successfully joined the waitlist and I will be notified whenever the product will be back in stock. So this is what the sign up message looks like. It's very simple, telling me which product I am waiting for and it will let me know whenever the store will restock the item. Alright so the first step of the process is working perfectly fine let's go back to our inbox and now we will restock the item to verify that we get the notification that the product is back in stock. So let's quick edit the sunglasses and we'll change it from out of stock to in stock and shortly after we should get a new message to our inbox saying that the product is back in stock and we can purchase it. So let's refresh it and we can see the second email arrive a few minutes after and this is the message saying that the product is back in stock and we can click on shop now and we can purchase the item. Excellent, so the plugin is working as expected and as I told you it will work just out of the box. However, there are some settings that you can change regarding the plugin. Uh, let's go to some of them, just move on to the stock notification tab. And here we have simple options to change. Uh, I will recommend you to leave it as is, but you can also change it if you want. For example, if you'd like to require double opt-in, if you'd like to only allow registered user to sign up, change the minimum stock quantity before sending the back in stock notification. You can also add a checkbox for the user to click on that he agree to the term of use prior to submitting the form. You can also change the sign up text, the text that will appear for already sign up members. And of course you can check this box if you would like to show the form on the archive page for out of stock products. I don't recommend you to check it because you would like to encourage your customers to enter the product page and then find out that it's out of stock. You will have better chance to convert that way. Once you save the changes, move on to the stock notifications dashboard and here you can get some data regarding your products that are out of stock. That will give you an indication which one of your product is the most popular one and you should prioritize which one to stock first. Then move on to the notifications tab and here you can see the registered users and what are the products that they are registered for and their status. Inactive status means that they already received the message that the product is back in stock. 
If you'd like to keep communicating with your customers, you can add them to your email marketing campaign like Aweber or MailChimp. Simply click on the export file and then click on download CSV and then you can import it to any other software or app that you are using. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.